Good afternoon, everybody. It is 12.13 on a Wednesday afternoon, and we know what Wednesday it is. What's sold this week for the Boomer? So I'm going to share that with you and chat after that. And if this video doesn't go extremely too long, I will add, no, I'm not going to. Yes, I will. I'll add a few things I've got today, but some stuff I won't share today. But I'll unpack it with you today, but I won't share it till later. Now, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. It was, I don't even know what it was. Unpacking, no, it wasn't. The stuff I found at the op shop, <laughs> my favorite op shop, and I mentioned some jewelry that I picked up yesterday and the day before, and that is going to be shown tomorrow. The video is up, it is edited, it is ready to go. So, hopefully, I can press my finger on it early tomorrow sometime and release it. Then, on Friday, you're going to be seeing the stuff that I got today, which you'll hear about later on Friday. So, but some I've got some stuff separately today as well, which I'll share with you after this video. That's what we'll do. But I hope you're all being well, guys. Um, I've had a, it wasn't, it was it's a little bit less than last week, but I still hit 600, which is good. Still to hit that big number that other people do. One day I'm going to hit it regularly and surprise us all. But for now, I haven't. Now, if you haven't seen yesterday's, was it yesterday's or the day before's video? Might have been yesterday's. Yeah, I talked about my new thing. Um, yesterday's Memories is my new business name um not not sorry it's separate i've got my ebay store it'll always stay the same as house of eclectic and that's for my all my weird eclectic stuff then it's going to be yesterday's memories is for all my vintage items my vintage clothing my vintage ornaments my vintage everything will be going to yesterday's memories that's the name i will eventually call a shop now i will be having a website started at some time in the future when i get myself totally organized because there's only one me keep saying I need a personal assistant I've already got my cook my you know all that so that's good my housekeeper but I do need a personal assistant to get other stuff done but yeah anyway I'm going to do this now but that's what I want that's my plan so you haven't seen me on insta if you haven't gone over to insta I am on insta as a reselling boomer on one channel and I am yesterday's memories on the other which used to be pretty rusty but now it's yesterday's memories it's going to be my new full-time business name it's going to make a great name for a shop too um, and I can actually have a lot of my vintage movie star people that I love all around it but I've got so many plans and ideas but we, you will follow this journey to see how far into this um, adventure I get and whether I will get a shop one day or not or whether it'll be from home I don't mind as long as I've got somewhere for people to come and buy stuff not only just online but in person shut up let's get going <laughs> If you haven't yet done it, please press pause and hit that like button. Okay? Again, I will reiterate every single time I remember that like button is very important. If you're new here, I am Nelly. I am a reseller of all sorts of things, but I really like to focus on vintage items. And I live in a bus with my husband and the grandkids that are slowly reducing in size. I have two teenagers that are with their friends mostly because they're sick of living in a bus and then the two younger grandsons and the two dogs because the third dog is with her because it barks too much. We can't have barking dogs at the showground. And I've got a, two birds still and a cat that all live there. Now we are looking for a home. It will happen and you'll also follow that journey. Now my other's channel, the Aussie Boomer has been a very slack to those who are on that channel. I'm sorry, it is the way it is at the moment can't do much about it it's only one me and it's all focused on this at the moment so with that all being said thank you press the like button press press subscribe if you're new you can always unsubscribe later if i bore you silly otherwise thank you for following and thank you to all you guys who have ever subscribed thank you thank you and all the encouraging messages i get when i do my videos it keeps me going every single time when i have a down day i think no these people are relying on my entertainment so i'm here for you and this is great for me too because it's like a diary. I can look back in you know, 10 years' time and go, wow, she didn't look so old after all. So anyway, shut up. Let's get going. Okay, the McLeod's Daughters is probably the first thing I sold. And I think I sold it last Wednesday morning. I paid $30 for this. I had offers of all sorts. And it's funny enough, the day before this sold for $140, I had an offer for $100. And I said, look, I'll take $120. And they didn't want it. Minutes later, someone paid the full price. Was it them? I don't know. But they paid the full price of 140 on these great DVDs. Everyone knows McLeod Daughters are well worth buying. Mind you, with saying that, I have got some inside that haven't moved yet. It was this full set that moved. 
$86.82 was my profit. And that didn't go to my car. They just sat there. The silver bird brooch. This is a... Oh, I couldn't find it for like about four days. And then I thought, I'll have one more really good look. And it was in a bag that I already picked up and not opened. <laughs> but I found it. Tiny little thing about this big. So that's why I couldn't find it. Um, did sell it. Made $8.29. The llama went. Um, yep, the llama went. And I made $4.79. Which isn't much. But you know what? A profit is a profit. Um, the damaged, this damaged decanter set that I was sort of like, stupid, what did I buy it for? Someone's bought it. Like I wrote down, it's rusty, it's got damage on it, there's a glass missing, blah, blah, blah. But people, if they love, if they're into trains or old decanters, they're going to buy this sort of stuff. And they did. Now, it probably cost me, it was with a whole heap of stuff, so probably, I wrote five, but probably a bit less than that. But it sold for 30 and I made $18.78. So... That was really good. I was happy to get rid of that. I've only just got to get rid of the lamp now as well, which has rust on it. But someone was looking at the other day. So who knows? It might sell. Okay. The vintage. Uh, what have I got? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yes. The vintage of Burgundy. I, I write things in, in little, like, short words. And sometimes I go, what am I writing? The vintage Burgundy pajamas. I picked them up from Salvos when they had them all in the window. Now, I think I told you the story. They got into trouble by someone who was offended by them having all these vintage pajama wear negligees standing on dummies in the front window. That's, they got into trouble for that. They got reported by to their head manager. <sighs> but anyway, I ended up buying them all. So I'm glad they put them out there because I wouldn't have seen them probably. And she now knows to ask me if, if she you know gets any vintage sort of stuff. She always asks me this particular clothing if it's any good, which is great. $17.74 is what I made on those pajamas, which cost me five. I think she charged five dollars or three dollars each. I can't remember now, but anyway, I wrote down five. Lord of the Rings, I don't know, whatever this is here. Oh, the books, that's right. I paid about a dollar for them. Give that. Made $23.49. The Vegemite shirt, I paid ten dollars for it. I was actually I bought it because I thought, well, they're Peter Alexander, they were brand new. And Peter Alexander stuff, keep it in mind, is it's good reseller. It resells quite well. Um, and I was going to send this overseas. I thought, no, I'm not going to send them overseas because it might not fit anybody. So I ended up deciding to sell it. And it had a very, very slight yellow sort of stain on the back, which I've put that in my description. And I think it might be from the front print. So hopefully they'll come out. I only made $8.26, but guess what? I got my $10 back. So I'm happy. The Shein dress. $3 I paid for that. I made $7.57. I don't know which one it is. I think it's the one I was about to give to my granddaughter because it wasn't selling. And it sold that same day, the day after I told her I was going to get it for her. Okay. Vintage cufflinks. Now, I've had them, most of these vintage cufflinks I've had for years and years and years. And I'm talking about 15 years <laughs> stashed away. And I've got more of them too, all those ones with the uh, stones on it. So I probably paid $5 way back then each. And so, yeah, I just threw the other ones in there. $15. I'll say $15 I with all those. I made $25.37. So there are men out there who still like to wear cufflinks. And I, maybe they'll use the, the pieces to make other jewellery. I don't know. But I don't care. It's out of my face. So I always felt bad every time I opened. I go, oh, God, I still got them. It's a waste of money. Now I've got most of my money back. Um, the lead crystal bowl stuffed up i should have actually meant to write down something here and i forgot so i've got to take a little bit of money off twice um i sent her the wrong dish and i hadn't arrived at hers thankfully at this time it wasn't until i was doing all my unbox you know guys i know i'm taking stuff out of boxes and packing it up putting it in boxes and i'm writing what's in the box and then shelving it instead of having it all loose wasn't until I went to a box the other day and I found the one she was, and I thought, hang on a minute, is that the one? Oh no, I think I've sent her the wrong one. And I messaged her straight away and I said, just send the other one back. And I meant to say to her, I should have said to her, because I thought to, I thought to myself, when she replies, I'll say to her, look, just keep the other one as well. But she replied with, I've sent it back and I've had to pay X amount of money. Um, I would have rather her kept it and saved me the postage, but it's done now. So even though I made $20.24 on this, I actually made nothing. So I forgot to take that off. 
uh, because I refunded her the postage that she sent it to me and then I had to pay extra postage so I actually made nothing I probably am minus in that but I forgot to write it down which takes me back just below 500 instead of over 600 which is a bummer but it is what it is okay the Dr. Dali perfume bottles. If you come across these sort of ceramic, sort of embossed bottles, just check them. This Dr. Dali stuff sells quite well. Um, an empty bottle, dollar. I don't know what I pay for it. To be honest, I could have paid more than a dollar. I do not know, but I wrote down a dollar, eleven dollars and seventy nine cents profit. It, this amazed me. The heat we've been having and still jumpers sell. So these could be jumpers that you know might live in Tasmania. We all know some um, Australia's got weird weather, <laughs> so and people collect vintage, and it might be a present to somebody overseas I don't know but I don't care because it's sold I paid three dollars for it if that probably less and I made twenty two dollars and twenty one cents <coughs> the buskers book this is the last one I have in the buskers selection that I picked up from my huge um, book haul I got for free I did so well out of those books honestly I owed me nothing and made me a lot of money um, sixteen dollars and thirty two cents I made on that the Nepal, Nepal shirt, I love these collarless shirts for men with the little buttons or ties at the front and it was all cotton and it was just really cool. I actually went to Nimbin. So I was at Nimbin or Byron, one of those two places. So sort of Hippieville place it went to. Um, and yeah, I mean, someone just dropped it. One of my kids just messaged me. Um, always distracts me. $13.18 is what I made on that short shirt. I know he picked it up not long back for a dollar. Like, yeah it was great the corduroy pearl stud shirt didn't make a lot of this but if you ever come across any of those little western shirts it's one of the types of shirts i will always look out for um this was that sort of western look with the pearl stud buttons they always sell quite well i didn't make much someone offered me 15 i just took it this is after still this is after my 30 percent discount and they still offered me that so i just took it was a bit slow this week so I just took it eight dollars and 49 cents this book here your word is your wand was just out of a whole heap of books I got from the op shop for basically nothing so it owed me nothing I made seven dollars and 58 cents the just jeans boot cut jeans I've had forever and um, not forever but you know for a while for five dollars I paid from at the most I might not have paid that much but they're brand new and someone took them and I got $23.18 for those. Another book from that lot that I got from the op shop not long back, the Wild Food Australia book. Now there was two of them so I kept one for us because I am so in, invested in learning how to you know what foods we can grow and eat and all that sort of stuff um, when I get a house. And $10, oh no sorry, $7.89, $7.09 is what I made. The All Saints Medical DVD, probably paid $2 max for that and made $24.55. I can't move these DVDs fast enough. I think I'm going to just do a big 40% off all DVDs or something just to move them out, just to get rid of them. Okay, or even 50% off because I just, it's, it's taking up the space for what I want to put there, which is all my vintage stuff. So I might do that yet. Um, army trucks. Wow, 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 wow. The army trucks and army men you can see in this photo. You remember I picked them up from Salvos like a month ago, three bags for nine dollars, and I sold some parts, and so it owes me nothing. And I made ninety-one dollars and eighty-five cents on those army trucks, and plus the rest I made on the other pieces. Keep an eye out for them. These are nineteen seventies toys. Keep an eye out for them, guys. If you're out there hunting, don't just diss them because they look like plastic rubbish. No, they're not. They're collectible. That money went to my car. Um, the Aloha Hawaiian shirt, $12.04 I made. I told you, Hawaiian stuff just still sells. Um, I do have some Lowe's stuff still, but the, when I pick up Hawaiian, I often look at the other labels, like I'll pick up all the Hawaiian shirts I can. Some will be Lowe's, not often. Um, but if they've got the like this sort of label, the Aloha label and stuff like that, definitely I will pick them up because they're more of a vintage sort of brand or just I don't know just a different quality of lows probably made in the same factory for all I know but anyway the gutalicious recipe book book I made $14.35 on that which was good because I really want to get rid of, rid of all my recipe books as well 
the Fugitoid or Fugitoid or whatever this is, TMT, TMNT, it's one of those things that goes with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff and thank you, I think, Diver Flipper, Jada, Brad, he um, told me what it was. It owes me nothing, it was in a bag of toys, uh, made $9.65 because I took a twelve fifty offer because it had been sitting for a long time and I was in a generous mood. <laughs> I just took an offer. So it's out of my face, it's out of my box, it's all good. Now this is where I made, probably made a mistake again. I had a heap of vintage watches. I really thought I'd have a few more watches than I did, as in people watching, than I did. And I only started the bidding at 35. I probably, should, if I had started at 50, I reckon this person would have bought them then too because there were a lot of vintage watches there. All unworking, but people collect old watches and they, because they redo them. I probably paid $2 max for all those, if that, and $26.82 was mine. Spell and the Gypsy shirt I picked up for $4 not long back and had an offer, I think. I did. I had an offer. It was all 30% off. So I had it up around the $60 mark, brought it back down. Then they offered me $35, which I, well, they offered me $30, and I said, no, I'll take $35, and they took it. $27.16 plus my $4 back. <laughs> um, the Witness shoes, finally left. Had a lot of lookers on those. Uh, $2 max I paid on those, if that, and $10.73, $10 which I'll put towards my car. Because I put 100 on my car this week. The Crush Velvet Jacket. I haven't put anything on my gem tester yet because I've spent a bit of money on other stuff. So I don't have to put anything on my gem tester till next week. But those who don't know what my gem, te gem tester is, it is an expensive tool that you use to test your gems so you know what gems basically you have in your jewellery. So yes, I've picked up some diamonds and I've picked up some emeralds and I've picked up all sorts of rubies and garnets and all that sort of stuff that tells you what they are. <clears throat> the crushed velvet jacket. I cannot remember if I paid five dollars or ten dollars on this jacket. I kind of think it was ten, but it could have been five. But I've written ten down because I love crushed velvet. Another thing add to my I love this collection is crushed velvet. I love velvet in general. Anyway, stop talking. Um, Eighteen dollars and twenty six cents I made on that jacket. It had come down and come down and thirty percent off. And then someone offered me something, so I took it. Now, we're going to talk about magazines. This L magazine, I've talked to you about it before. Yes, they may sit for a while, but they do end up selling. Now, this magazine probably either cost me nothing, or it cost me 50 cents, or it cost me 20 cents. But I wrote 50 cents just to be in between. Um, and I made $7.48 on this old L magazine. So, you can sell these old magazines, and they sell for decent money. Not much different to what they were brand new. If they've got someone famous on there that they want to, you know, that's what they do. There's an item here that hasn't been paid for yet, which I'll add to next week's lot. Don't you hate that? Um, the Pokemon hat, cap, baseball cap, another thing I would really like to get out of. I nearly picked up one today, but I'd already paid for my stuff, and I said, no, Nelly, put that bloody hat down. You don't want any more baseball caps. So I did. I was obedient to myself, put it down, and walked away. It was a good one, though. I can't remember what the brand was, but it was a good one. It was proper, really good quality. Shut up. I walked away. Hopefully it's gone by the time I go back. So I'm not tempted. Anyway, I only made $4.79. <laughs> That's all I made on it because I only sold it for 10 bucks. because I took an offer. Okay, I think I orig originally bought it for my grandson, but he doesn't like black caps. He likes the round ones, so he didn't want it. <laughs> okay, um, next one was the Pottery Kookaburra. Two bucks, I paid for that around $17.22. And finally, lastly, the end. No, it's not actually. Oh, well, I'll, 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 actually, there was a couple of things last night. I'll add them to next week's, okay? So, or should I add them now? I might add them up in a second and I'll come back. Japan container, paid, I think I got offered $20 for it. Uh, cost me $2, made $15.61. Give me a second, I'm coming straight back. After all that, they haven't been paid for that item that they bought last night and the other two items that were sold from this morning. So, that was a waste of time. Anyway, so my week was... I can't remember, I can't read what that says. 116.50 is what I spent out of my own pocket to make $874 total, which gave me a profit of eight five hundred eighty seven because I took took that mess that I made up there of the postage off. So five eight seven eighty is all I made this week. When I say all, it's 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 a lot for you. Like a lot of you guys aren't making that, and I'm sorry. And I hope it all turns around for everyone because it's really hard when you're seeing everyone else buy, selling stuff. Um, and you're you know, making money and you're not, it's horrible, but keep in it, stick, keep sticking to it, have sales, do all sorts of stuff, but don't give up. You know, even look at, um, 
Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace and all those other things you can actually do Instagram and all those other places don't give up though because I know it's disheartening I, I get disheartened myself and I still make money I still get disheartened when I see all these other guys making a thousand fifteen hundred dollars two thousand a week when I need to make that to keep my family you know going um, but I don't and I sort of feel like sometimes I'm working for not enough money but I love what I do I don't want to have a boss so I'm just going to keep building this and building this until I get there okay so we're going to talk about my car i've done everything else i think now the gem co the gem collector i didn't put anything on it i still owe 300 i think but i'm not in a hurry it's on a payment plan with afterpay so i don't have to pay anything on it yet um i may do it later in the week i don't know but anyway my car my car we're up to 4167 this is week 22 4167 dollars and out of that it has only cost me $341 of my own money to get that $4,167. My car's going to be so cheap. I'm going to have this like $500 car that's going to be like, you know, $10,000 worth. I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, I keep saying my husband keeps complaining because he hasn't got a car at the moment. Because both, yeah. Anyway, those who know the story, you know the story. So we're having to use one car again. And I said, look, just take my money. He goes, no, you've been saving that as for your car. And I said, well, I'll get the money back when we sell our house. And I said, no, no, no. So I'm happy to have, I, I've said to him so many times, I'm happy to have this car as my work car. If that's what I've got to have, I'm happy to have it. And he goes, no, no, you're going to get the car you want, which the car I want is like 25 grand. I don't know, it's expensive. I'll probably get a van, a nice colored van, a nice green van with my, yesterday's memory sign on the side of it so that's what we've done this week guys thank you for watching that little bit we're going to go into the shed now i'm going to chuck out oh get all this stuff out show you what i got and then i'll talk about why i'm not showing any other stuff yet <laughs> yeah gonna have a video each day we're gonna be a video today tomorrow and friday and maybe saturday if you're lucky might not give you a rest for me this week i'll see you in a minute well hello fancy meeting you here again so soon I first want to apologise. I feel like I'm a bit... My eyes are really red today. I don't know whether it's hay fever, but I'm extremely tired. So if you guys know of a way to help me not be so damn tired, please let me know. I'm not a drinker. I don't do coffee. Give me some ideas what I can take to give my energy back. That would be great. Now, <clears throat> this morning I went to my favourite op shop, and I'm going to have a quick talk about that. I get in there, I'm looking around, I'm finding stuff, I'm in the book section, you know me, new books come in. If anyone in this likes to sell books, you've got to go to this op shop. I don't want to do all the books they had, that Stephen King and all that. I don't want novels. I did get a couple of books here and here, but I'll show you in a second. But while I was in there, <coughs> my friend, she's not, no, longer, no longer my nemesis, my friend, uh, the lady who runs, helps run it, She, I was at the back and she goes, oh, I've got this box of stuff, the guy who owns the vintage with second hand shop can't afford it he says he's broke because he's got so much stuff i went and spoke to him before after two i'll talk about that in a sec anyway um so i went through she said i want 50 dollars for a lot of stuff from home stuff from her house because she donates a lot of stuff that she gets from other op shops too but and i'm looking at me yeah this looks okay this does look okay i shouldn't even be telling you the story i should wait so i did get it but we're going to continue that story friday okay <clears throat> she kept on throwing stuff at me. I'll talk about that Friday. I'll ruin the whole excitement about that. <clears throat> I'll do that video in a minute. I'll still be wearing the same clothes as today, which is Wednesday. But I'll do the video in a minute. And you'll see it Friday, okay? Because tomorrow is the jewellery day. If you're a jewellery watcher, you love watching jewellery, unboxing, etc., etc. Speaking of jewellery unboxing, I did sell this. I'm just waiting for payment. This little brooch I picked up from a garage sale about a year ago. Right, look at that, for $15. Why did I pay $15 for that brooch? Because I saw the stamp on the back. I just sold it for $160. So I'm just waiting for a payment to come through on that one. But that's something I didn't add to my little thing, so I'll probably add that to next week's. I may even, I'll probably put that money on my car, I'd say. But yeah, so that was a really good little sale I forgot about. And I did sell a couple of other things too. Little brooch and something else. But anyway, that was my main thing I sold. It was big this week, which is great. Anyway, so I'm wandering around. I'll show you what I got from her shop today. And then the other stuff, I'll show you. The very first thing I picked up. Now you guys know I'm not here to just share with you things I'm selling. 
I'm not doing that. Everyone else can do that. I don't care. I like showing what I'm keeping or why I bought it because I'm weird. I bought this little continuous lawn edge because, you know, it's going to save me buying it later on, isn't it? When I get a house, I can put it around something. That's what I'm going to do. And I oh, just remembered, I've got all these CDs here, guys. The girls that wanted those, I haven't forgotten. I just forgot to do it yet. So it will happen. I am slow. I've got to send something to USA yet. I promised and it will happen. I'm just very slow. It'll happen. But yeah, I haven't forgotten. Just slow. So I'm in there. I'm, I'm pulling things out. I'm looking in the books because they had bags of books not unpacked. And so I start unpacking it for them and tidying it up and, you know, doing all that. They should employ me there. And I picked up a heap of books. My goodness. Janelle says she's not buying any more books, but she does. I picked up these. I like these mugs and I always run out. I put that away. They're the mugs I've picked up for years, 50 cents each or 20 cents each because I, I love them. And it's funny because sometimes you go to like, a place like Vinnie's and probably charge you $2 for that. Stupid Vinnie's. I've got these little paper, paper, paper things. Why? I don't know, but they'll come in handy for something. Look, I could do hang it up somewhere and have it as notes. I'm a big note person. There was a whole heap there. I left some from other people. But I want to show you something what I do. I like to reuse stuff like you can throw all these little money things away which I, the box was damaged there's some of the parts missing and I thought oh I can you know chuck it all out right but I thought no I can use these so what I've been using it for this is what I've been putting my boxes up the back there you see them all I've been using this to write what's in the box so I know when I sell it where it's going so yeah waste not <laughs> that's me <laughs> so upcycle recycle and do it so that's what I what I'll do with those or yeah I could actually use the paper scratch it up and make it put it into small boxes I don't know we'll see books I got that one because I thought it was interesting it looks like a kid's book I'm gonna read it one day along with the rest of the books I've got a wood turning book to sell wood turning it fascinates me um, an older one too, probably from the 1980s, maybe 70s, something like that. So if you're a wood turner and you want this book, let me know. But I will be listing it. 90, it was original 1985 and then the fourth printing 91. So it is vintage. And some of these books I didn't even look at. This looked interesting to me. It is Never Kill a Dolphin and Other Stories. I don't know anything about it. It just looked interesting. <laughs> so I grabbed it and it is 1959 books. So there you go. It's 1959 book then I've got this one called Blacktown um don't know don't know I just looked interesting then I've got this wall one called The Mix I thought that probably sell quite well and then I love this book I've got I've had this book I've read it a few only a few years ago and I was just I don't know I've got the DVD too but I don't know if I want to watch it because it was so I cried when I read this book Tried. Have you read it? Let me know down below. Have you read or watched To Kill a Mockingbird? Hey, just let me know. Beautiful story. Then I got this uh, Comanche Moon because I like to pick up my westerns. Nothing like a good old western. And I picked up this one because I thought, you know, there is a hormonal issue with a lot of people with weight loss. And who knows? It might not go for anything. I'll redonate it back to them. Um, and then I got this really nice mug. God, here we go. Yesterday, I got all those boxes. I had to go out where out bush to get a whole heap of boxes. I thought, oh god, I hope I should have told my husband where I'm going to be. I should give him the dress. And what if they're weirdos and they kill me? <laughs> she was, she was a lovely lady, um, and she gave me a whole heap of boxes that were actually, I think, had she had dog food, like the original for dog food, like plastic, you know, frozen. So I got a heap of those. that were perfect size to put my box, my mugs in in layers, so like two layers, and then I could put two box. So I got my box off the all my crockery all my mugs off the shelf in the boxes and each of the boxes are marked with my little monopoly money what's inside them so I've only done that yesterday I have to have started another one now I've got another mug um, this is made in England it's just a really nice mug it's a uh, kiln craft tableware and it's just really it's like an embossed sort of print on it very Asian well it is Asian isn't it like you know print but yeah it's just really really nice and really good condition it's pottery um, yeah thought it was nice so I grabbed it and then these because I'm weird and I can maybe make something with them one day <laughs> so that was that shot but they told me to come back this afternoon this is why I don't want to unwrap this other stuff that I got from the other lady because 
the manager said, oh, we've got a heap more stuff coming in today. Should we ready tomorrow? No, no, come back this afternoon. So after I do all these videos and take about 10 photos of stuff, I'm going to go back and see what else they've got because yeah, it's, if it's vintage, I'm right there. So right there. And it's great now because they're asking me. She's asking me, do I collect this and do I want that? So it's great. Now, I did go around the corner to the helicopter and I picked up um, something. But I also picked up this. Who remembers these? What memory do you get from these, guys? Who remembers their mother wearing them in the 70s? These are apple seed necklaces. I've got some stashed up north. They're actually apple seed necklaces. I, I cannot, t you cannot tell me there's no one that remembers them because I know most of you boomers out there will remember someone in the family wearing these. Okay, so there's your memory for the day. So I went to the, to the helicopter and there was nothing. Like it was so boring today. Oh no, I've got to go back. I just remember I left my mugs there. She's moved my mugs. That's why I didn't see them. I've got all these pottery mugs. I put them on the table. By the time I got there and put my records down, they'd moved them. And I just I just remember, it's lucky I'm doing this video now. Hopefully they're still there when I go back. Why do people do that? Like, ugh. Anyway, I picked up some records. Now it's a dollar each and I 24 of them. I didn't think I got that many, but I ended up getting some weird records. I ended up getting all these, um, apparently they came in a set. And the reason I know that, because I went and visited my um, vintage shop man. So I got all these records and he said they came in a set originally. But I don't know if they did, because some of them got $12.99 written on them, so they might not have. But anyway, I got all these classical music ones. So I'll probably bundle them all up. I'll see whether I'll bundle them or I'll do them separately know all that stuff that's how it sells and you know me i like to try things and test things out especially when it doesn't cost me a lot of money i got the shadows mustang shane granada all sorts of songs so yeah pretty cool that's domino this is jean pitney i think she charged me double two for that because it's two in there doesn't matter country music this one for free because there's no record in it, but look, I love the cover. The cover's pretty cool. It'll go in a frame on a wall one day. I didn't know I picked that one up, but I did. <laughs> uh, Piggy Lee. Um, yeah, that one. Foster and Alan, I used to listen to that a lot when I was a teenager. I thought that was, that was lovely. It was just lovely music. Um, Red Lindsay. Look at how young he was back then. Such a young, look how young, I don't think I've ever seen him that young before. But we were all there once. Jim Reeves. I thought this was the best of the Beatles, but it's actually an orchestra, best of the Beatles type one. Um, I ended up getting that just to test it out. Actually, I might not be able to sell that one. Just realised how badly moulded it is. Nah, that's going to go. What I might do, I used to make, um, no, I'll use it for something else. I used to make, I can make actually bowls out of records, but I used to make bags as well, like little handbags, 50 sort of style. Uh, Andy Williams, Andy Williams, and Andy Williams, and Andy Williams. <laughs> I wasn't going to get them, and I just did a quick search, and he sells, they sell okay for that. So that's what I got at the at the helicopter, and then I went across the road and had a chat to the vintage guy. who was just sitting there, he's got so much stuff. He had a box of really cool stuff at the front. It had pewter jugs in it. It had um, some of those plastic moulded cups from the, from the 80s. It had a whole heap of golden books. It had a whole heap of Simpson books. Pewter. Oh, bits and pieces. So how much for the old box? He wanted like $65. No, he didn't. He went, oh, I don't know. He got them as a whole box the other day. Which I made him go. He ended up going and pulling it all out and having a look at it. He just needs, motiv he needs a little motivation. He really does. Um, and then I was looking at other stuff that he had there. And... And he says, oh, I've got this other box I just got. And inside the box was all the, oh, my God. I, was, I should have taken photos of these little cups about this big. And they had pop Howie shell all the outside of it. And this other guy came in. I couldn't read it. I said, can you read that? And he says, yes. It said Mexico. Mexico. It might have been sterling. It might have been, I don't know, silver plated. But they were little little cups about this big, little um, shot glass type ones. And silver and all the Powie shells all around it. And he's got them sitting in a box instead of out. And I'm trying to encourage him to get your eBay. He's got an eBay account use it and he's just he's, he showed me this car full of stuff that's had there for 18 months in his car like and he had one of the things he had in there was like a $50 um, one of those 70s 80s race toy, race cars uh, anyway <laughs> I get excited when I go into his shop because he gets such good stuff like there's a couple of dresses in there that I've 
very tempted to buy it. I'll see. But I bought something off him and I did pay $10 for it. Which was probably a bit much, but I always feel bad because he gave me some boxes. <laughs> and I always go in there, have a chat, and I never buy anything. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy them because they're really cute. And I could potentially make a bit of money out of them if I split them up. And you heard me talk about the playing cards, swap cards thing. These probably would sell quite well, being the little dogs on it. Um, a dollar each, you know, it's a pack of ten. How many is in a pack of cards? So, you know, two dollars times fifty-two how many cards I prefer to pick up that's what we do isn't it so that's what I got today now I hope you enjoy yesterday's yes I hope you enjoyed yesterday's and I hope you enjoyed my what sold just before and I hope you are here if you like jewelry for my unboxing which was a pleasant surprise for me I was not expecting what I got um, I'm just gonna get listed I need a personal assistant did I mention that so yeah I'm going to go now and go back and see my little pottery mugs are left there and if they are I will share them with you on Friday bummed I forgot them <sighs> anyway I'm going to go there now that might, gives me an excuse to go around the corner to my other op shop see if they've got anything open and unpacked then I'll come back here and then I'll come back here and do my photos I just want to get my mugs first so I'll see you next time guys thanks for watching and uh, if you made it this far just go 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 boomer <laughs> okay bye but wait, there's more. Okay, so I went back to the, I rang them up. I rang up the helicopter to make sure my mugs were still there. Because I wasn't going to go all the way over the other side of town. Just to um, find they've been gone. Not there anyway. The old guy picked up me and says, oh, are they these ones? I said, no, no, no. He says, oh, no, I'll ask the ladies. And they were there. They were there wrapped up for me. That's why I didn't see them. But he said, I've got some other stuff here. So she, they brought out some mugs. You know the like the beer mugs with a wooden handle great but they're all tarnished around the edges so i left them okay but she said oh we want these out for you as well now first of all, i'll show you the, the mugs i left behind and then i'll show you the first so there's i think five dollars not a ten of these thank you hang on thank you. so 50 cents a mug pottery mugs no oh there is a signature on the bottom um g G R G U something. I can't read it. I'll work it out later. I'll find who it is and I'll let you know hopefully. But there's 10 of those. I don't know if they're all the same style, but they're all, yeah, they are. So they're all signed, right? So there's 10 of those. Believe me, there's 10 of those. And so I grabbed them and she, just, and she brought the glasses out, which were no good. But she got herself a nice salt and pepper shaker out of it, so she was happy. And then the other box. And there were, in, the, in the box that had the other mugs was this little pot. And this little pot is Arabia made in England. Okay. A little bit of scratching on the flowers, but very, very cute little pot. I was going to go home and paint my nails for you guys. I'll try and remember to do that next time I show off stuff. Um, and this is the pottery that they brought out. And this is stuff that probably went in someone's garage sales and it had too much on it. This had $2 on it. But I've got all this pottery. Got the whole lot for 15. It sounds like a lot, maybe, but I got something else in there. And they also gave me um, just some covers. <laughs> some covers for my future shop. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I've got in here because I haven't actually opened it myself. I'll prove it to you. Da -da -da -da. See? Oops. Still all wrapped up. Oh, not even pottery, but that's okay. That's nice and old. I don't know what's in here. That means if that's pottery and that's not, what else is there? This is a bit exciting. A little pot. pot. Looks very similar to the. Um, I pay fifteen for the lot. Now I'll make money back of these without any issues at all. I don't know what that belongs to? Oh, it's not even. Look, look. Not my style, but still. Another one of those little bars. These are all at someone's garage sale. These will sell. These will sell. Another little one, same as the cups, same print on the back of it. Another little dish. This has got no signature. Really cute little dish. Isn't it fun unboxing? I don't even know what's in here. So it's exciting for all of us. It's had $2 on it. It's actually got a chip, so it's not much. That'll make a great little um, succulent succulent dish. It's got a chip on that one. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, back to the op shop that goes. I 
little pot by the same same person who made the mugs. So I've got a lovely little set there. I'll probably put about $40, $45 on the coffee. Got a little glass, which is not really my thing. If anyone wants those, just pay postage, let me know. A little pot, ginger pot. This probably had the lid, one of the lids belongs to that probably. A lap probably long belongs to that actually. <laughs> ugly, ugly herbs, that's cute. I might have to keep that one. We'll see. Oh, there's a stamp on the bottom of it. It is a made in Australia, that's all it says. And I don't think, well, yes, it is. I don't think it's quite it actually is. Yeah, it's not a little pot. Um, same person again. It's a nice little bowl, that one. So that's what I got there. So I wasn't expecting this lot, all I was expecting was my mugs. So we're going to put more back. Anyway, so while I was over there getting all that, I thought, well, I'm just around the corner from the other op shop that I went to this morning, my favourite one. And he did say to me, the manager said, come back this, I think I said it to you, I'm not sure. Come back this afternoon, come back tomorrow, or come back this afternoon. I thought, well, since I'm over there, it's around the corner, in I go. And did I find stuff? Yes, I did. Because you know me, I will find anything anywhere that I can really sell or keep. So we're going to go in and have a look to see what I got there. Hang on. Earlier when I was there, they had the encyclopedias. And I said, no, you're not getting any more encyclopedias for kids because you just don't need any more. Like, you know, because last time I sold them, I posted too cheap. But anyway, I know now. Anyway, I went up to the back kids section and they had this whole series of the child craft books. And if you don't know, look out for them because they do sell really, really well. I'm going to be putting $40 postage on this lot, not $25 or $20. Um, because the whole box, I've got the whole complete set of these. So it's a really heavy box. He gave them to me for free, guys, because it's kids' books. I said, just take them. But I should give him $3 for it. <laughs> um, he only wants $7 for them, but what, what I'm about to show you, and I just said, we'll take 10 So, so he did. Um, because what I've got here is going to make me more money when I get it listed. Anyway. I want to show you. It's a bit at a time. Let's go, I'll, I'll take you down again so you can see it with me. Uh, okay. All right. I don't know. No, insert, no in special order. A Tasmanian Christopher Vine um, mug. Mugs. I'm going to start a new box collection now. A Stop Pulling My String um, Woody mug, which will go with Woody toys when I get them. This lovely pottery mug. It's beautiful. Look at it. It is by Salt and Pepper, that's the brand, Salt and Pepper brand. But as you can see that, there's yeah, the blue in it. Really pretty. And three packets of these, which are great, because this is what I've been pinning my um, jewelry on lately, like the, my stuff, and I've got this. Uh, it's a ram, look at him, he's so cute. All made of pottery, there's nothing wrong with him. Oh, he's got a, got a stamp in there. I can't read it though, but he's stamped. So he's something special, I just don't know what it says. And I might not be able to tell you because I cannot see it. Um, a bell and not not that's the style I like but it was actually Japan so I know it's older you know 60s 70s this though look at this beautiful little vase look at it it's gorgeous and it is actually old court wear never heard of it but it's hand painted old court wear look at that it's gorgeous that should sell quite well and then I got more stuff he goes oh do you want this and I go oh not really then I saw that it's actually Lavorato, a made, made in Italy. There you go. It's a made in Italy vase, so it's a good quality. Don't think it's. It's not crystals. I don't think it's crystals. It doesn't. Yeah, it could oh, be. I don't know. Anyway, I've got some jewelry, which is not much. One was not even supposed to be attached, but I got this really funky. Well, this is a lady who collects jewelry, but she doesn't collect this sort of jewelry. Look at that funky, you know, brutalist, mid-century type necklace it's so awesome look at that um yeah got that i'm pretty sure that's an old one and that one i don't want but i've got these for the beads it's all clay beads on that it's not old it's just i like the beads on it um and it's attached to that which is going to go back i said I, I told him i said i don't want that bit you can have it when it comes back i've got a heap of placemats i wasn't going to but they are all um new zealander i think new zealand ones i think or fiji i don't know Anyway, I got a heap of them, Islander type. 
um, yeah, little placemats. So there's a whole heap of them there. Let's have a look at them. I haven't even looked. I just grabbed them all. Little flower one. I'm pretty sure it's Fiji. Um, it's either Fiji or New Zealand. Someone can tell me. Where's shirt peas? Is that? I don't know. Mount, mountain buttercup. I'll have to look it up. Um, okay, it's definitely New Zealand. Look, kiwi. There you go. Kiwi. Am I showing you very well? Sorry. I'm not showing you very well at all. I'll show you better. There. Sometimes I rush through thinking you can see quite clearly when you can't. They're all them. I don't know if it's linen. I can't see what's on it. Anyway, I've got all those. Now, you know I don't pay much for the stuff there. This whole box cost me five bucks. Well, it cost me ten. It cost me seven dollars, and I said make it ten to include the book, so I don't feel a little. I only feel a little bit guilty. Not fully guilty. Um, another salt and pepper mug. They're very, very lovely. You know, really nicely made uh, or pottery. So yeah. So yeah. Um, these I got. I don't know what they're for. I don't care. These are going to be perfect in my boxes. I was actually st stacking, stuffing it with. Uh, a lot of my bubble wrap just so they would separate but these would be great in a box you get the right size to put your mugs in between so that's why i grab that I, I sometimes pick things up things up not knowing what i'm going to use them for and they come in handy later but that in that case i knew exactly what i wanted them for another little jug really pretty one um some little dice I'll tell you a story made in korea so it's an older one these little dice oh, i'll have the little dice too he collects dice he collects he does what i do he collects marbles and dice he said a whole heap of nice marbles came in today and I'm like, damn so yeah i won't be getting any dice or marbles there but he told me i could have those ones i got a book for my husband he's all right into the weather so i'll give that to him because i can um i only got this word game in really bad condition for little words and so i can upcycle those so that's the only reason i got that not for selling but I've got this really cool shirt I don't know if you can see that very well it's a um let me give it a soak see the beautiful line it's actually an older label well, it's a label I've not seen before uh can't even read it but South Africa so it's a South African shirt little little it I don't know five so someone might know about that but it's going home and gets soaked I've got a vintage skirt which is quite ugly for most of you but I recognise the ugliness of it from the 70s, I mean, 80s, I mean, Dolly Dolly. So that's a pretty cool vintage skirt. And got oh, some old cards, more old cards today. These will be separated to resell separately. Those sort of ones. I, I quit sugar book because I really, really would like to quit, quit sugar. I don't know how well it's going to be hard to do. But anyway, I've got that. And finally, a very vintage little baby doll hang on I'll go up so I can show you little baby doll 90 set so nylon baby doll probably 60s 70s little baby doll 90 set that you can go now that's all and whatever I said before about what was it what did I say it was before? Whatever I said before to end this video, do that because I can't remember right now. I'll pop it up here when I'm editing because I can't remember what I said. Hope you enjoyed that little extra. The rest of it is for Friday. So I'll see you then. No, I'll see you tomorrow and then I'll see you Friday for the stuff I'm getting in a minute, which I'm going to show you now. You won't see it on Friday. Bye.